Well, let's have a look at the statistics of the net over the last 10 years. If I were here 10 years ago, I would be crowing about 22 and a half million servers on the internet, not counting laptops and desktops and things like that. Now 400 million in January of 2006, and probably 600 million servers uh, at the beginning of 2007, not counting the laptops and the desktops and maybe PDAs, which are episodically connected to the net. If we look at the uh, distribution of users on the network, uh, first of all, it's clear that there's over a billion, but it's also clear that's only about 17% of the world's population. So in spite of the fact that we have a billion internet users, we have five and a half billion more to go. Finally, on the broadband side, uh, in addition to having uh, broadband access, I note that most of the consumer broadband access is asymmetric. The consequence of that is that you get these anomalies, like two people may be up on broadband and they could both receive high quality video, but neither of them can send it because of the asymmetry. If you're in the business world, when you buy broadband access to the internet, you get symmetric connections. You know, E1 connections and E3 connections and so on are all bi-directional, full, uh, full bore bandwidth. That's what I think the consumer should get too, and today they don't get that and it's important to deliver it because there are applications that consumers would like to be able to do or could do even if they don't know they want to do that yet.